Hello, hello everyone. Uh, happy Sunday. So this is going to be an audio only video. So yesterday I was on the Six Element of Hip Hop show and we talked about DC's multiversity teen justice. Basically it's teen titans, um, but dull and unoriginal. It consists of sidekicks from our titular heroes, uh, but the twist is that this is on Earth 11, so it's a multiverse. So on this Earth, everything is flipped. Batman would be Batwoman, Superman would be Superwoman, Lois Lane would be Louise Lane, Aquaman is Aquawoman in this universe. You get the gist, right? So we talked about this briefly on the show, but I wanted to elaborate and expand on my thoughts on the main channel. They have these cards, which will be up as the video goes along, um, basically as a small bio for each member of the team. And, you know, you get a little bit of insight into Earth 11. So the team consists of uh, Kid Quick, Troy, Aqua Girl, uh, Clarine the Witch Girl, I'm missing two people, Robin, and Supergirl. So... I'm reading the bios and I'm, I read the little article that was kind of telling what would be in the comic because they actually debuted in 2020 and I had no idea. I learned about them yesterday and it turns out they're coming back uh, for Pride Month in June. So there's this promotion. And all I have to say is it's, it's unoriginal. This is lazy dull writing. If you need a crash course on how to be lazy with creating your characters and your stories, here you go. Like, what is it with these companies thinking all you have to do is just take previously established characters and flip the script? And when I say flip the script, I mean, oh, you race bend or you gender bend or you slap a label on them and bloop, there you go. That's it. That's all you got to do. And you and, and the, the, the thing that gets me is the over-representation because this team, this universe is literally just here to be an avenue and a vehicle for representation, to just pump it up, pump it up, pump it up, but without putting any fucking heart or effort into it. So what we're left with is just a shell of representation if you want to call it that and diversity and inclusion if you want to call it that because i don't think it, i don't think that's what this is it almost feels like proper uh propaganda because there's no heart there's no heart and and these companies that do this because it doesn't just come down to dc right this is beyond dc but let's focus on dc dc they're they're doing this and you think you're doing a service to these people that you're trying to include but let's focus on the lgbtqia plus community because it's clear they are the ones being catered to with this team right um you think you're doing them a service and you're not it's actually fucking insulting and if i were part of that community i would be pissed off i'm pissed off for them because this is how you give them representation you give them sloppy seconds and and my and my thing is i think their mindset is you should be grateful that you're getting this here you go we just took an established character made them younger and and flipped it and flipped their gender or flipped their um their race maybe or um and and most of all we just attached a sexuality to them and and here you go that's it here you go. Fuck a good story. As long as you have some type of representation, we don't need to have good writing behind it. We don't need to have anything like that. It's fine. And, and I'm telling you, DC's mindset and a lot of these other companies' mindset is that you should be grateful because it's the same way they race bend a character and they expect you to be happy about it. And you wonder why fan reception is never there when you do shit like this. Nobody wants this. 
people want representation that that has a, a, like I've been saying that has heart and originality behind it and it's not fucking dull that's what people want people would be receptive to that because they know they would understand that you actually care or better yet why don't you give people original characters who happen to be black or who happen to be asian or in this case who happen to be gay or bisexual or pansexual um or and or transgender non-binary what have you original characters original well-written stories that's what people want at the end of the day period but you have to just do the fucking most and cram it down our throats and, and like nobody nobody wants that nobody wants it nobody wants it so i'm editing and i realized i didn't give an, an example of what proper representation should look like um arguably so to me the first person that comes to mind is anissa from black lightning if you remember she was a gay woman who was in an interracial relationship with an asian woman i think her name was uh grace cho very rare to see on tv to see a black person and an asian person together in an interracial relationship that's rare especially with it having been a black woman and an asian woman very rare and you know what nobody made a big deal about it outside of your homophobes nobody cared they were like cool whatever you know why because people put thought and care into who anissa is as a character they did not lean on nor rely on her sexuality and her relationship. That's not her entire character. Come on. It's it's that simple. It's that simple. But these companies, they just don't care. Anyways, back to the video. So um, I, I'm, I've had the cards up at this point. So you can have a gist of what I'm talking about. I can't be excited about this. I can't because the whole premise, what this is, the anchor, your team is unoriginal and you are just rehashing and retelling the same stories that we've already gotten. The novelty has worn off. It wore off years ago with like the crime syndicate. That was cool when you did it with the crime syndicate. But at this point, it's worn off and you're just lazy, period. I guess this was a rant because um, I woke up like 10 minutes prior. So I guess this was a rant. I mean, I, I'm just, it's just so irritating. It's so irritating. I'm pissed for the LGBTQIA plus community because this, this is what these companies think you want in representation. This is what they think. And I promise you, a part of them believes you should be grateful. And that's insulting in itself. Never mind the fact that your representation is sloppy seconds. <sighs> Clarine the witch girl. None of it is original. None of it. You couldn't even have a, a a different tagline for clarine which is the bite off claren the witch boy teen justice teen justice so lazy like really you didn't have any other name that you could come up with teen justice to me that doesn't even make sense that doesn't even sound like an actual teen name who would say that like oh my god oh my god like you read their bios and it's just a rehash of what we already know from titular heroes <laughs> yeah i guess this was a rant it wasn't supposed to be but it's so irritating um it's so irritating these companies don't fucking care they don't care they're not doing a service to anyone they think they're you know giving representation or inclusion they're not doing them a service because you're not giving us anything original <sighs> oh. 
So anyways, what do you guys think of DC's uh, Multiversity Teen Justice? Um, this was my first time learning about them yesterday. So, you know, I don't even know if I'm going to do more research because I, I don't care to. You don't care to, to put effort into your story and your team and characters, then fuck you. I'm not going to take the time to do research on it um, and, and eventually read it. I'm not doing that. So yeah, but you know, um, what did you, what did you, what do you guys think of the team? Um, are you guys going to read the comic when it comes back, um, in Pride Month? Um, let me know. Personally, I don't think I am just cause there's no heart in it at all. And it's clear as day and it's sad. It's sad because you had an opportunity to do something unique and bring in inclusion and representation, and you didn't do that. So, yeah. I'm out, guys. I'll check you later. Bye.